five of the best from Magnetic, Magnificent Magnus, the current world champion and considered maybe to be the best player of all time. I'll let you guys discuss that below. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and the video. And can you spot Magnus's move? Can you play like the world champion? I doubt it. You know, I really do doubt it. But you might surprise me. On to example number one. In this first example, Magnus was pretty much getting out of his pram. Only 12 years old and he showed his flair for the game in this position after the move h6. Attacking the knight. Most 12 year olds would retreat that knight, but not Magnus. Can you spot the move? Do 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 do. Queen takes a7. Out of the blue. A brilliant example of taking advantage of your opponent's weak back rank. And this move, offering the queen, wins the game in some style. Not bad for a 12 year old. For example, if the rook takes the queen, Magnus gets his chess hoover out. And he sucks up those pieces. Rook takes c8 check, only one move, queen to d8, and now it's a hoover job. Rook takes d8, check. King takes, knight takes f7, check. King moves, knight takes h8, thank you very much. And in the game, after this amazing move, queen takes a7, black decided to play rook b8, but this did not help black's cause because of the move, queen takes b8. And the same thing happens. The rook comes flying in and it mops up a load of pieces. Okay, black still has the queen, but white has the two rooks and a winning game, which Magnus went on to win. 12 years old. Pwah, am I jealous? A little, a little. We move on to the second example and Magnus has grown up a little bit by now and he's playing the fantastic player, Alexander Grischuk. We have this position where Grischuk has just played rook takes b8. Now Magnus has some scary looking pawns but with his next move, he makes them even scarier. Can you see the stunning move that Magnus now flicks onto the board? Bishop to a6, and this is just a brilliant visual move. We're trying to get rid of the pawn on b7, so that we ha then have three space invaders. Boo, 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 boo. Trying to reach the touchdown rank of the eighth rank, turning themselves into fluffy little queens. And the point is, if that bishop is taken, well, now a move such as d7 or c6 would eventually lead to queening. For example, d7, bishop f6 to stop that, c6. These space invading pawns are too strong. Grischuk tried bishop f6 immediately to cover one of those queening squares, but Magnus now forces the issue with bishop takes b7, getting rid of the brick in the wall. Rook takes b7, and now c6. Bum, 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 bum. Here they come. And now after rook takes b6, the rook plays a very subtle move, rook c1, and this pawn cannot be stopped. This is even better than going c7 because of rook c6, and the rook gets behind that pawn. But after rook to c1, Bishop takes b2 as played, and after d7, Grischuk resigned. Touchdown is inevitable, and a beautiful, beautiful concept from Magnus there. On to example number three. Well, this is taken from another game where Magnus was very young against his fellow compatriot, Hammer. Magnus with the black pieces, and Hammer now plays rook to e1. What shocking move did Magnus now play to force immediate resignation. Queen to h5 check. A brilliant idea and this is an example of what is coined the Anastasia checkmate. The knight controls g1 so after the queen is taken the rook is now free to swing over delivering the final punch. Simply stunning. A lovely checkmate. Example number four has a bit of sense of humour about it. In this position, Magnus with the black pieces is playing Sergei Karyakin 
of Russia, also known as the carjacking man. And in this position, Sergei has just played rook takes h7. What makes this even more amazing is that it's a blindfold game. Now, what move did Magnus now play? This might be one that you guys at home can find. It's something we're taught to do at a very early stage of the game. Castle's kingside. It's one of those ones where you think, what, can you do that? The rook was on h8, what's going on? And I like this move because it has something quite pretty about it, quite unique. Knight is now attacked, and if the knight moves, of course, we play king takes h7, winning the rook. And there's nothing else that white can really do here. If rook to h6, we can still capture the knight. And after rook g6, which seems like it wins a piece back, king to h7, rook takes bishop, and now the back rank is white's weakness. Rook to f1, checkmate. So an example I would say, with a little bit of sense of humor, rook takes h7, castles kingside. You don't see that often. This last example is very famous. It's from the last game of the 2016 World Championship match. And again, we have Magnus Carlsen with the white pieces against Sergei Karyakin. The next move played here won Magnus the World Championships. And it was probably the best ever move to win a World Championships. The story goes that Magnus said to his opponent before the game, I am your nemesis. A righteous infliction of retribution manifested by an appropriate agent, personified in this case by me, a blooming good chess player. Well, that's not actually true, but you know maybe where that comes from. So what move did Magnus now play? It actually looks like he might be in a bit of trouble because he's threatened with a number of checkmates. But a stunning move now comes up. Queen to h6 check a beautiful queen sacrifice kind of out of the blue not even capturing a piece but opening up a way for either the rook on c8 or the rook on f5 for example if king takes queen the h8 square is now free so rook to h8 is checkmate if pawn takes queen then black weakens his seventh rank so rook takes f7 is checkmate what a brilliant way to finish a world championship match well i hope you enjoyed those five brilliant examples discuss below what was your favorite one and remember to like the video and subscribe to chess.com hope you enjoyed it goodbye for now have a little look at these videos